Hey guys, welcome back to AX3 Gaming. My name is Alec and welcome back to another episode of Journey of Wrestling. If you guys didn't catch that last episode, we had an unfortunate injury and we signed a brand new superstar. So make sure to go back and watch that last episode. The entire flow is linked in the description. And before we get started here, guys, if you can do two things for me first, hit that like button. If you enjoy my content, it does help me out a lot. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell as well so you do not miss an episode. Whenever I upload, you will be notified. And without further ado, guys, let's get right back into booking two more weeks of NXT. Okay, so we had in the last episode, an ill-timed injury here. Almost ill-timed because Bianca Belair got injured at the last pay-per-view, but we also were able to sign Becky Lynch to an exclusive deal now on our show. So that is quite cool. And now we can put Becky Lynch in the women's championship picture. Let me just check. We'll just scope out Becky Becky Bolecki here. Yeah, she is good. She's maxed out on everything. High popularity, high overness. Boom, everything is great. We we spent quite a lot, actually not as much as I thought, but we spent a decent amount of cash on signing her. So we are a bit low right now, but we'll 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 gain that back. What is she? She's a face. Okay. That's not that's okay. That shouldn't be a big deal. So let's go here. Uh, I know I imported a new few de debut and stare down. There it is, my friend. So we'll go debut and stare down. Hope the person, oh God, who do I click first? Let me check. And I also forgot to book the freaking Battle Royal Championship last pay-per-view. Oh my God. Okay, debut and stare down. Okay, so name two, the second person selected is the one debuting. So we're gonna go debut and stare down. Then we're gonna go singles here. And the second person clicked is debuting. So we'll go Alexa Bliss and Becky Lynch. Book it. Let's add a feud on this. Yeah, greatest wrestler, let's do it. Okay, perfect. Uh, so in this case, we'll have Alexa Bliss in a singles match then tonight. Be preseason a feud, right? We're gonna do Tony Storm, but that's not, we've seen that too much lately. We can do Peyton Royce. Finn Balor, no, we want to, oh my god, Lana to Jabroni. <laughs> okay, let's do Alexa Bliss versus B Priestley. And I know she's in a, is she in a feud right now? No, she's not, is she? Wait, where's all my feuds? I don't know, I'm so confused. This is already taking a long time. Okay, so we'll have Alexa Bliss versus B Priestley. We can have this for the Women's Championship. Sorry, what was I looking at? I was looking at, yeah, where's uh, Rhea Ripley's feud? Oh, because I'm in singles, I'm not in segments. And Rhea Ripley is facing B Priestley right now. That's what it is. Yeah, it's because I was in singles. So let's look. Yeah, we have B Priestley versus Rhea Ripley. So B Priestley is in a feud. Actually, let's do Sonya Deville. She's in main event status, I just realized. Status. Status now, I just realized. But also, uh, it makes a bit of sense because since fresh people of Bel Air are in the other thing. Yeah. Okay, so Alexa Bliss versus Son Sonya Deville. Okay, that's good. So let's just book our quick heat promo here. Heat promo. Okay. Uh, and we'll book that for, I don't want to do Tony Storm again. Oh, Braun Strowman has great crew. Okay, we'll do Braun Strowman, I guess. We'll give him a heat promo, his big uh, return back here. Kevin Owen versus Randy Orton. This feud is looking like it is on its way to the end now. Okay, let's do a home invasion. Boom shakalaka, Tommaso Ciampa versus Ricochet. Feud package, yeah, that's fine. Adam Cole versus Aleister Black. Mac talk, I think they've done that, yeah. So I need to remember to look over my segments again so I don't double book a segment that I've already booked, but that's gonna be call out and brawl because I've been doing that a lot lately, the double booking of the same seg by Mistaka. The man title shot? I don't think, yeah, I didn't do that tonight. I'll go check on it after. Inner Circle versus Archers of Rock and Roll. Contract signing. And then Machka Beast versus Breezango. Well, you know what? We'll do that in a match. And that'll be their last match tonight. Where the hell? Oh, we gotta go in tag teams. Yep, yep. Book that tag team. And add blow off. They're at 100. Good for them. And then, yeah, we'll keep this for the women's championship. We'll, we'll get something uh, high there. So we already have two matches on the card. And we have all our feuds booked as well. I'm trying to think if I want to do something with Walter. I don't know. I don't think so. I'll leave it for now. Yeah. But we got one segment left. Who could do with some match or with a match of Rooney here? B Priestu versus Rhea Ripley. Let's do. I hate how, how booking someone as a manager doesn't trigger the feud. Super annoying, because then I could do some stuff with that. But anyway, let's go. B Priestley, Peyton Royce, and Rhea Ripley in a triple threat match. Not for the Women's North American Championship. Did I book their feud? Yeah. Demand title shot. No, we'll do this backwards. We'll put it like that. And then, yeah. And then, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, remove title. Okay. 
and i think this is our card for tonight guys so starting off the night we'll have the machka beast versus breezango uh in their final match just to get breezango a bit further over then we're going to contract signing between the inner circle and the archers of rock and roll then we're going to have rhea ripley versus peyton royce versus b Priestley, and then right after that b Priestley will demand a title shot from rhea ripley and then adam cole is going and now alice shabak and i have a call out and brawl segment then we're gonna have a feud package for ricochet and tomaso champa and then home invasion between randy Orton and kevin owens yeah, I want that to be the main event. And then a heat promo between for uh heat promo for Braun Strowman. And then Sonia Deville, one of Bianca Belair's stable mates, is going to try to take the women's championship from Alexa Bliss and become a double champion because she is battle royal champion right now. And then in the main event, we're gonna have a segment of a new debut by Becky Lynch and staring down Alexa Bliss. Awesome. Let's get into this card, guys. Oh, I didn't look if I double booked anything. I don't think I did. Let me scan my memory i don't think i did but let's 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 find out uh we have a a, a tag team match here we're gonna ha just have breezango pick up the victory we got positive for both of them okay there we go P P there we go i meant to say uh oh it, the the feud would have went down because it went over its staleness okay so good thing i blew it off match could be and breezango put on a hot match boosting its overdose by three percent wow their prove yourself feud blew off at four and three quarter stars good for them they don't this feud really really brought out uh, a good look for them so i'm glad four and three quarter stars and an extra three quarters of a star for good psychology let's keep it going i like that in inner circle and rock and rollers archers of rock and rollers are going to have a contract signing we have the archers of rock and roller rock and roller what the hell am i saying archers of rock and roll pick up the victory here four and three quarter stars and 25 more points of the view damian priest got over with the fans boosting his work rate i thought he was already over but anyway maybe he lost that priest from popular to over Archers of Rock and Roll and Inner Circle put on a hot segment. Match could be, you already read that. Damien Priest, Archer of Infamy gimmick progressed. Awesome. Okay, let's keep it going. We got Peyton Royce, uh, Rhea Ripley, and B, B Priestley in a triple threat match, not for the North American Championship. We'll have B Priestley pick up the victory in this triple threat match. Okay, four stars. Ooh, only one point to the feud. I guess that was the match. It's okay. They put on a hot, hot match. Awesome. All looking good. Let's keep it going. B Priest is coming out of the ring to talk about who to face next. B Priest calls out Rhea ripley and demand sign match let's just say like after the match she grabbed a microphone and said b Priestley, i just won this triple threat match and i am owed another championship match gave okay, five stars 25 points to the feud okay good 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 b Priestley and rhea ripley put on a hot segment and that is all let's keep it going in the ring we see adam cole with the microphone after some words she's to call out alistair black alistair black comes out to the ring and after a verbal confrontation between the two adam cole and alistair black begin brawling security and others separate the two uh 17 points to the feud okay four and three quarter stars okay good efficiency there nothing down here let's move on video package errors okay this is the, probably the the segment that i'm kind of worried about as far as stars and i should be because it only got three and three quarter stars oh god okay it's 19 more points to the feud and nothing down here i don't know what it is with feud packages man they, they don't do they, they're kind of hit and miss they either do amazing or they do bad and it's annoying but i kind of have to do them to get my what is it production person up but anyway live camera crew station outside what appears to be someone someone's house that's kevin owens house randy orton is breaking in the two end up brawling in front of his family four and three quarter stars 40 more points of the view they're right at the cusp of 300 now so they'll be at 300 by the next pay-per-view randy orton and kevin owens put on a hot segment boosting their overness by four percent each a lot of viewers tuned in to watch continuing on braun Strowman's in the ring for a promo braun Strowman ran down the local sports team and made fun of their recent loss god damn this freaking heat promo dude this in the in the in the feud package are going to cause me to be below three and three quarter four and three quarters sorry then we got alexa bliss versus sonya deville for the women's championship i will not click the wrong winner i promise there alexa bliss is going to retain that kind of hurts sonya's uh overness which is not great but whatever okay four stars that's fine i would have hoped that it would have helped sonya to be in that awesome spot even though she lost but whatever and then alexa bliss celebrating her victory when they're when the lights and the arena go out as the lights turn back on newly signed star becky lynch is standing in the ring staring a hole through alexa bliss as the show goes off the air four and one quarter really 67 few to start we'll see where that goes but i would have liked that to be higher as usual okay i think we got four and a half stars because of all those things pulling it down yeah four and a half stars we gained seven thousand fans aw gained 800 fans with the same uh, stars new japan gained six thousand fans with a four and three quarters smackdown lost 1.3 thousand with a four and a half stardom lost seven thousand with a four and raw lost 
uh, 5,000 with a four. Let's keep it going. No emails, nothing really going on. Okay, let's just book the next show here. Okay, so uh, another show of NXT tonight. So we got Randy Orton, Kevin Owens. I don't know what they haven't done. They've done a lot of stuff. We could just do a regular fight, but let's see if we have anything better for now. We can do a feud package, push up contest. Now let's just do a fight. Ricochet Tommaso Ciampa, which is also going to blow off. Seems at the next pay-per-view push up contest. That doesn't really make sense for them though. Their promo ambush. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Awesome. Promo ambush. Adam Cole, Aleister Black. They've done a lot as well but not a home invasion. Beautiful. B and Rhea, B and Rhea, B and Rhea, B and Rhea. I'm gonna save the smack talk for Becky and Alexa, but for them, I'll do the stupid feud package. God damn it. Okay, feud package. Inner Circle versus Archers of Rock and Roll. They can do call out and brawl. No, they'll do, no, they're just a contract signing, so it doesn't make sense for them to demand a title shot. And then Becky Lynch versus Alexa Bliss. They will do the smack talk. Awesome. Where is, let's go to tag team here. Is this all our teams that aren't, I guess, booked and other stuff right now? Let me go in singles for a second. Let's see where Breezango is lacking because I want to get them up more. So they're both main eventers, right? So Tyler Breeze, his pop is lower and his overness is lower. Where's Fandango? It's right below him. So their pop is the same, but Fandango is very over. And Tyler Breeze is not very over. Here we go. We'll do this. We'll go <clears throat> manage, which we'll go book, and we'll go backstage attack, backstage attack, and we'll go singles, and we'll go Tyler Breeze and Braun Strowman. Nice. Okay. And then we'll add a feud here. I loved you. That's going to be their feud. Braun Strowman loves Tyler Breeze, and Tyler Breeze rejected him, so now they're going to fight. <laughs> because <laughs> that's the that's the appropriate response okay so that is all our feuds booked i believe we'll go singles match and we'll go johnny gargano versus elias and that'll have that match right after okay awesome and then we can do one more match tonight as well let's go adam cole alistair black and tony storm in a triple threat Oh crap, we're doing a home invasion for them. Okay, we'll do this at the beginning of the show then. All right, so this is our show for tonight, guys. Uh, let me just make sure I didn't double book anything. So starting off the show, we're gonna have a triple threat match between Tony Storm, Aleister Black, and Adam Cole. And then we're gonna have a backstage attack between Braun Strowman and Tyler Breeze starting a new feud there. And then we're gonna have a uh, smack talk between Becky Lynch and Alexa Bliss. And then we're gonna have uh, a call out and brawl segment between the Inner Circle and the Archers of Rock and Roll, which will lead to a match, a one-on-one -on -one match, Elias versus Johnny Gargano. And then B Priestley and Rhea Ripley are going to have a feud package. And then Adam Cole is going to go home after his match and be invaded by Aleister Black. And then in the uh, and then we'll have a promo ambush between Ricochet and Tommaso Ciampa. And then in the main event, we're going to have a fight between Randy Orton and Kevin Owens. So a triple threat match. We're going to have Adam Cole pick up the victory in this triple threat match. Okay, two more points of the feud. Whatever. Tony Storm and Aleister Black. Blah, blah, blah. Put on a hot match. Four and one quarter star. Let's keep it going. Braun Strowman, Tyler Breeze backstage attack. Braun Strowman is going to attack Tyler Breeze. Five star. 44 point feud to start i love you feud between tyler breeze and braun Strowman started okay becky lynch and alexa bliss in a smack talk we'll have becky lynch pick up the victory five stars 34 so th sorry 37 points to start so we already had 100 for them so that's a good sign no news down here let's keep it going uh call out a brawl in the ring we see an inner circle with a microphone after some words proceed to call out archers of rock and roll they fight blah 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 four and three quarter stars 20 more points to the feud nothing down here let's keep it going got a one on one match between Elias and Johnny Gargano. Let's have Elias pick up the victory here at a four star match and four more points of the feud. A little bit low, but that's okay. Hot match between them. Let's keep it going. Then we got B Priestley and uh, Rhea Ripley in a feud package. Okay, four and one quarter star. 31 more points of the feud. Okay, that one did a bit better. Finally, uh, B Priestley and Rhea Ripley put on a hot segment where they were just in a video. So. This is a home invasion. Alistair Black is so mad that he lost that match that he's going to invade Adam Cole's home. Four and three quarter stars, 32 more points to the feud. Nothing down here. Let's keep it going. And then we got a promo ambush segment here. Tommaso Ciampa is going to ambush Ricochet. Four and three quarter stars, 23 more points to the feud. Ricochet and Tommaso Ciampa put on a hot segment. 
keep it going. The camera crew's live to the fight between Randy and Kevin Owens. The two of them went through an intense brawl uh, in the streets outside the arena. Four and three quarter stars, 23 more points of the feud. Randy Orton and Kevin Owens put on a hot segment. Everything is just repeating itself now. Was that the main event? I thought we had something else after this. I don't know why I thought that, but we got four and three quarter stars for sure. Yep, four and three quarter stars. Let's see how everyone else did. We gained, wow, 40,000 fans this week for that performance. Uh, AEW gained 6,000 fans with a four and a half star. New Japan lost 5,000 fans with a four and a quarter star. SmackDown lost 39,000 fans with a two and three quarter star. Wow. Stardom gained 5,000 fans with a four and three quarter, and Raw lost 6,000 with a four and three, sorry, three and three quarter. Um, and we got Halloween Havoc coming up now, which happened very recently, or, or somewhat recently, so we're almost in line with the real schedule. Let's see what we got here. Last man standing, elimination both increased. Do not do a steel cage, but tables and unsanctioned are in the positives a little bit, but we'll definitely do a last man standing and elimination. We got a big pay-per-view coming up here, Halloween Havoc. I'm looking right now, we broke 2 million fans now, so awesome things all going around, and I hope that Halloween Havoc is the same as well. If you guys did enjoy this episode, make sure you hit that like button it does help me out a lot. Also, right underneath here, there is a subscribe button. If you guys want to click that to get notified whenever I release videos, so you do not miss one. And then over on the right, we got some more videos you guys want to keep watching. Thanks so much, guys.